Hey internet friends, it's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday in Chief Architect. I am working once again on Chief Architect Premiere version X12 on my MacBook Pro computer. I uh, wanted to talk today about watermarks and this is a fun one. Uh, I've been using this this library object. I made text into a, into a uh, CAD block and been pasting it from my library here, but I, f I thought of a way that's much faster and much simpler uh, today using watermarks. So let's talk about watermarks, shall we? Let's get started. Yes, as I said, I've been using this um, CAD block, if, or library block, if you will, um, to, to create my watermarks. And I'll delete this, and what I've been doing is I've got these, I don't know why I've got two versions, it's the exact same thing, but um, I'd go into my library and search for draft, and I'd drop it in here, but this is sized for a 24 by 36, and so I'd open it up and retain the aspect ratio, make the width, uh, this is 11 by 17 paper, so 16 inches wide and center it on the uh, on the page there and then I would uh, go to the tool right here to view the draw order and send it all the way to the back and there it is so fantastic now I could save myself a step of searching for it and changing the width changing the size and uh, centering it by saving this in my template and then just go to level zero or page zero and delete that from my from my page here but I found a, a better way using watermarks as I said so with one click I can turn on my watermark or turn it off let's get this set up so that um, it works properly. And then you save that to your template and it's all good. Hey, before I forget, is this information helpful to you? Uh, would you drop a like down there uh, and subscribe to the channel if you will? Hit the notification bell and you'll be notified each week that I drop one of these Tech Tip Tuesday videos. I'd appreciate it. And as always, leave a comment. Uh, ask questions, leave thoughts. I enjoy the interaction with you all. So, um, watermarks, yes. Go into default settings, which is my toolbar right here. You can go into edit uh, default settings as well. And I'm gonna double click on watermark. So what I did was I used an image. Um, you could change it to text and uh, give it draft not for construction this is what I started out with originally and put it like that and change the angle to maybe to 30 degrees and let's do the uh, for this I had to I think I, what I had to do was um, figure out what height of text would do it. So let's do this, uh, 0.75. That would do it, and that works fine. I can turn that on and off using this um, custom toolbar icon here. Um, but I, I didn't really like it that way. You could do that. It would work. But um, so what I did was I created a blank here. Let me back up. Created a blank page and I put my my draft piece on here. Uh, my, my library object. And then I took a screenshot of that and went into Photoshop here. 
And in Photoshop, I erased the background. So everything that was white, I erased that all through here and saved that as a PNG file. Now, a PNG file allows for transparency in the background. JPEG files do not. If I exported this as a JPEG file, it would have put white right back where the transparent portions were. I did not want that. I want the transparency to remain. So let's quit Photoshop. And I saved that again as a PNG file. Where you save it doesn't matter as long as you remember where that is. Then I come back to Watermark, my default settings, double click on that, and I'm going to select Image. Go find that picture, that draft picture PNG file is what I saved it as. I set my ratio to sheet at 95%. Center on the um, center on the uh, page. I don't need an angle. And because the picture already shows the transparency, I could do 0% if I wanted. Let's see what that looks like. And actually, you can see in the um, preview here what that transparency does. I don't want 30% because of that. I'm going to take the 30% angle out. And I don't want 100% transparent either, or it will be gone. Depends on how light you want that watermark to be. You could put it up at 50%. You could leave it down at zero, if you like. I'm going to make it 40% transparent. And done. Now, I saved my layout templates like this. Then all I need to do is click my watermark tool here. Um, apparently I need to click it, click it twice. I, th I think it, it just showed up because it was I was playing with the watermark defaults. So by default that template's going to open up like this. Let's start a new template file, new layout. See, it comes, it comes in as on. I can just turn it off. Okay. So to do this, as I uh, previously showed you custom templates, um, to custom toolbars, go and right click on the toolbar and customize the toolbar and just search for watermark. Drag this tool right here up onto your, make sure this is the view type of layout. Drag that onto your layout toolbar, and now you've got control of seeing that template, that watermark or not. You will want to remember when you're printing, do you include the watermark or not? Now when you click on define here, that pulls up the information that we've already set up in the in the uh, default. So if I include watermark and update, you'll see uh, <laughs> I've got some funky stuff going on there. Because my last print. There we go. You see the watermark printed or not printed. With a quick click or two, I now have my watermark. And I, I don't have to deal with dropping that in there, deleting it. I just click on or off. That's my tip for today about watermarks. Of course, you could put your name on there. You could put your logo on there if you wish. Uh, that, work, that would work as well because it's all in that PNG file that we created with Photoshop. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Uh, as I said before, click like and subscribe down there. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you next time.